Hello there ladies and gentlemen, Sigmo here and welcome back to another video, we're on the main account here and we're on our way to kill boss Mr. Freeze, but first of all we need to get through Aquaman and Batman, first of all let's begin with Aquaman over here. We get Manta, Manta's got um, triple effectiveness passive, so that's gonna be great. Just don't wanna get his shield burned out. Oh boy, that Aquaman does a bit too much damage to the shield, to be fair. We got Twin Blade on him and level 10 Nora Snow Globe and level 9 Thermal Gloves. Let's push him towards the corner a bit. Need to be very careful with the shield, because boy, it's, it's going down fast. I'm gonna use the third special to extend my combos as much as I can because I definitely have the damage to kill this man. But I'm really starting to lose fast the convenience of having the shield. Come on, just a bit more. We're in the second minute, so we got a bit better power generation. Oh no! Um, I'm not dead, but I'm probably gonna lose the uh, stacks. You know what? Okay. We stunned him, we lost the stacks, take that as a fact. We can uh, tag in Bane. That way we generate some power and we can tag Manta into a third special. Also probably should have done super move at some point, but it's fine. Oh, that was bad. I'm losing all the damage sacks. Uh, you shouldn't tag straight into a special like that. That's, that's terrible. You should tag into some basic hits because you're gonna lose your Manta pass of sacks. Yeah, that was really bad. And I knew this. Okay, we, we killed him. It wasn't as smooth as I was hoping, but we killed him. Let's move on. Okay, so here we have Nightwing. With uh, Beta Club. I want to see how that goes. Uh, we have uh, Arlie with North Snow Globe and Thermal Gloves on... Um, Zatanna here. I'm not gonna try to do something where I keep Puppet active at all times with Zatanna. I want to see if he does decently with um, with Beta Club without that, just by the fact that we're gonna keep the enemy stunned. He has a pretty bad synergy with Beta Club because I'm stealing power from the enemy and Beta Club slows down the enemy's power generation. So I'm gonna be stealing less power. Oh boy, I have a very bad synergy with Zatanna actually. Because the Beta Club Dot also triggers the tech passive. So we're gonna have a huge window here where he is not gonna be able to generate power. And if we can't steal power, then that kind of sucks. Because we can't get our Zatanna damage buff. That sucks. Okay, we got a bit of a damage buff. Come on, get close a bit. Okay. Okay, it seems to be generating a bit faster than we're stealing at least. Come on, Zatanna, get me that damage buff. Why are you taking so long? Why are you taking so goddamn long? Uh, okay, we're done. Bro, it took me longer to get the percentage shell damage than it took me to... Oh, 10 mil. Yeah, that's what you're looking at here, basically. And you just do a little bit of a jump here. You reset the third special from time to time so that you still have... Um, 
a stun on your jump attack. I'm pressing jump attack there, buddy. Yeah, it's pretty cool, I guess. Nothing insane, especially since I have maxed out passive stats here. A lot of crit damage on my Nightwing. Like, I guess you might be able to make this work with the Puppet Satana, a Harley. Maybe I'll try it, but it, it's nothing too amazing. Okay, so over here I'm gonna fight both Mr. Freeze. There's plenty of ways I could fight this without interacting with his mechanic as he's gonna do a bombardment from the sky, but if you can burn him, he stops doing that bombardment from the sky. But maybe you guys don't have access to any way to do that and you're maybe watching this video looking at and uh, towards an alternative. So we're gonna use King here with Twin Blades. Raven with Norris Snow Globe and Thermal Gloves on Dr. Fate. If I put Thermal Gloves on Raven, that itself would be enough to not have to deal with the mechanic. But let's let's deal with it. Let's see how rough it is. Because I don't think it's that big of a deal. Anything with Poppet can fix this, because Poppet's got burning. Batman Drown will do well here. Beast Boy will do well here as soon as you activate Poppet, basically. My bad there. They don't know exactly the frequency of the bombardments. I think it's something like the first one comes after 30 seconds of the fight. Yep, exactly on time. But I don't know if every single one of them is at 30 seconds from each other. That I have no idea about. Okay, that's 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 actually sooner than every 30 seconds. Okay, I think it might be something more like every 20 seconds. You just have to dodge it. You get a warning. Oh no. Uh, well, good thing we got Nora Snow Globe on her, I guess. Because now she can heal a bit, but yeah, tanking super with Raven there. Nah, not, not the best idea. It wasn't even an idea in the first place. Yeah, I messed up here. I'm gonna get frozen. Actually, I did that. Oh, I'm unhittable. I'm unhittable because of the Might's class passive. Yeah, that was that was nice. But yeah, generally speaking, if you're fighting a kind of high tier Mr. Freeze, you do have room for some mistakes, but like a limited amount of them. Oh, what? What? I didn't know that. So I I saw that the hazard keeps kind of kind of staying there, but I I thought only the ice fall can freeze you. But yeah, you actually have to not step in there for a bit. I'm not sure if that was always a thing or it's a recent bug that they added. But looks like even after the hazard falls, if you step on that, a few seconds after, still gonna get frozen. Oh boy, I, I really didn't know that. Uh, but yeah, that's boss Mr. Freeze. It's not really the hardest boss if you are careful and you don't get frozen. But yeah, I really didn't know that it has a lingering effect that can still freeze you. Let me know in the comments if it's always been a thing or a recent bug introduced. Uh, but yeah, let's move on to the next fight. And take a look at the rewards too. I would love some Mr. Freeze shards. And we got Todd Headshot. Bro, give me Mr. Freeze shards, please. I'm begging at this point. Uh, let's move on to the next fight. Basically, here we have uh, Scorpion with Norris Snow Globe. We got Raiden with Dark Mellow cards. And we got Flash with Thermal Gloves. So uh, let's see how this goes. Problem is probably gonna be scorpion getting killed because that might take a while even with no gears because we're fighting a tier one boss so yeah hope for the best here come on oh boy this is not good this is actually next level terrible but considering the artifacts that they have there's no there's not really another way to have a convenient fight here. I just gotta wait for Scorpion to die. However much that's gonna take. But you have a high combo here. 
Yeah, that's that's the main problem. I mean, not the main problem, the Ganar problems, but that's a big problem with this specific strategy. Or you need to get your scorpion killed if you're fighting low tier bosses they might take absolute ages to kill you looks like we're gonna probably get something like one minute and 30 seconds of raid and actually doing damage or even less than that come on man come on there we go i'm almost half health you can do this you can definitely do this buddy Nah, bro. I regret my choices. I just should have not used this team. I do have enough teams. I should have not have used this team. Are you saving up for a super move or a third special? Come on, buddy. Do something. Okay. Uh, this should be fine now. Oh, I'm dealing absolutely no da dot damage, actually. Even while I was in the hazard summoned by the clone. Uh, what do you... Does this even work? Yeah, it works with the scorpion hazard, but the clone hazard didn't work, and we are not gonna have the luxury of trying again here. Oh boy, this, this is over. This fight is over. We lost. I really have no idea what went wrong with that clone specifically. Let me know in the comments if you got any idea. I did have other instances where I couldn't really get it going the first time I tried. But the second time worked. But here for obvious reasons we're not gonna have the luxury to try that. Yeah, this sucks. Actually, you know what? Since this guy is kind of the only one combo interruptible in this tier, and I want to test out something with Nightwing tomorrow, maybe on a full health target, I'm actually gonna quit this fight and leave him full health. We did so low damage to the point where it's even shameful to take the damage that we did. But yeah, let's move on. Okay, so here we have uh, Poison Ivy with Crown, Wonder Woman, and Power Girl. Hopefully we're gonna kill both Grid here, he's gonna stun me on Tagen. Which is irrelevant because he's a tier 1 boss. I'm not sure if he's the one with 100% uh, stun chance or 25%. Okay, that was a stun resist, so he his stun definitely worked there. Yeah, he might be 100% stun chance. Nice, we get the power refound, that's amazing. Looks like he's not taking any damage from swipes. Okay, we're probably not gonna kill him actually. Um, I'm gonna also have to do my super move. Uh, but I'm dealing a lot lower damage than expecting. I guess I overestimated DPI and I didn't give her an additional damage modifier and I opted for reduced power cost with classic Wonder Woman. I definitely did not know about the no damage on swipes. If I knew about that, definitely we would have given her a bit more to work with. So we might actually be fine. Seems like we got a bit of a damage increase since the super move. Yeah, we're fine. Yeah, I guess I just uh, got a bit scared because I didn't see the usual explosive amounts of damage, but low and steady always works for League of Architecture. There we go. Let's move on to the next fight.
Okay, so over here we got the Batman on the ground with God Killer, Robin King with Puppets, and then we got John with uh, North Snow Globe. So let's kill both Joker very quickly. I mean, th there's no question about this team one shutting or not. There's just the question of the time. So let's do our best to maybe finish this before one minute and 30 second mark. Though fighting low tier bosses and trying to speed run them with this team is not really the most optimal thing because Batman Drone is going to deal a bit less damage than usual because she's going to steal less attack. Also a bit of a rough start here. Okay, let's do the percentage shell damage real quick. It's got blind, so that's great. As well, super move here. Whatever. Let's just activate this again. Robin King and this might be less tagging. Maybe. Hopefully. I think I double tapped the special one by mistake once. So that reduced my hazard duration by a bit. It's fine though. Yeah, we didn't reach the 1 minute 30 seconds mark sadly. Not gonna be too far from it, but not quite there. Okay, let's move on to the next fight. Actually, I don't know if we get more fights or not. Maybe not. Let me check. Oh no, that was actually the last one. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.